In this video series, we talk about some of the key terms we can find on job descriptions. So this is a JD for a junior system engineer. And the key term I found here is server. A server is a term you guys as technical recruiters may hear on a daily basis and still may not understand what a server is. So let me explain it briefly. It's important to keep in mind that the server could be both hardware and software. So I will highlight it right away, hardware or software. All right, when we say, hey, um, a database server, it could be both hardware and software. And by hardware, we mean, you know, like literally the piece of iron that um, is somewhere in a data center or a, a computer, maybe somewhere on premise at your company. It could be, you know, a little server. Um, it could be a server rack. It could be just a little piece of, uh, of iron eventually or it could be a server inside the data center somewhere, you know, in, in completely different country. Like today, it is uh, popular to connect to a data center uh, through internet. So uh, in other words, it's called in a cloud, you know, the, the, the data center is, is like, it's not really in a cloud, right? It's somewhere in a data center. Uh, it's actually somewhere um, under underground. But uh, that's how we refer to it, you know, for end users, it seems like it's in a cloud, they connect to the server through internet, so it feels like it's somewhere in a cloud. But uh, it's just a piece of hardware, a server, like a database server could be a piece of hardware uh, that we, you know, run a program, a software on that server. And the server could be also database server. So a database server such as a MySQL or Microsoft uh, SQL or Oracle or you know all these require some hardware so the software can run it. So this may be a little confusing but uh, it's actually very straightforward. So uh, what is important is, is the software right because this is uh, this is uh, you know something that has lots of uh, intellectual property while the hardware is usually a commodity. So you can have a for example, uh, you can have a, a rack, which is, uh, which is a computer, and on the computer you run a software for the database uh, server. I, I hope this is clear. If not, guys, please ask me a question uh, in comments. It's important to, uh, to understand this, this difference uh, because, um, you know, it may be a little confusing. So uh, a software runs on hardware that's uh, that's uh, hopefully obvious you know you have you have some license uh, the license could be for for database um, mysql so you install it on some hardware on some computer in some data center so the server would eventually be um, you know both software and hardware you know merged into one so uh, when we refer to a server, um, we also uh, mean a computer program, you know, something developed, written in a programming language, something that eventually manages access to a centralized resource or service. So now imagine, uh, imagine this database server. You know, inside the database server, there is uh, data, lots of lots of data. You know, there could be uh, customer information, payment information, there could be data about credit cards or whatnot, right? Uh, lots of lots of uh, data in, in a database. Now, who can access? Who can access these data? Uh, you need to have some, uh, um, some uh, username and password. It can be um, restricted even further through um, IP address restriction or you know, it could be um, accessible only within a private network, right? So, so that's why I'm saying a software is a computer program that actually manages access to a centralized resource or a service. So that's a server. And, uh, and when this is a user, so say this is a user with a mobile app, mobile app, so this user is actually a client. This user is a client and here this is a server here. 
So this is a server. And the server manages access. So not every user can access all the data, right? So someone, something needs to manage the access. And that's the job of a server. A server manages access to a centralized resource or service. So, uh, so this is what a server is responsible for. It serves, it serves um, the, uh, the resources or, or services. Okay, and there are lots of other examples, uh, but I think uh, the database is, um, is, is you know, the easiest. You have obviously a web server, so a web server can, um, can um, manage access to, for example, photos, right? You have a, you have a storage, a disk with all the photos on, uh, on the disk and a user comes and wants to access it. So uh, the, the web server actually manages the access, like can he or she access it? Yes or no, yes or no, yes or no. If yes, forward the photo. If not, send uh, restricted access. So this is pretty much what uh, a server is responsible for. It's uh, really straightforward. It's another rocket science. I just wanted to really uh, explain this uh, in, in plain terms so you guys understand the difference between a hardware when we refer to soft uh, server, you know, a server can be a hardware. I can say, hey, there is a database server lying on the ground right next to the doors. Okay, so it could be a hardware, but it could also be a software. I can say, hey, um, MySQL released a new version of their MySQL server. I need to download it to our server. Okay, so I hope this is clear. If not, guys, please uh, go ahead and ask me questions below this video. And I also encourage you to share this video further on your favorite uh, social networks, fa Facebook, um, Instagram, LinkedIn, wherever. Just go ahead and share it with your colleagues and friends so they also learn how to hire developers with confidence.